Right then, the Community Shield final has happened in Manchester. Yeah. We should have been beating that uh, oil merchant side, if we're being real. We really should have been beating them. Um, we just couldn't tuck away our chances. I thought our creativity was very good. I thought Casemiro was very good in the midfield today. I thought Bruno held the ball really, really well throughout. Um, just disappointing overall, to be fair, that, that we weren't able to win it when we were so good. Ganacho when he came on was absolutely unbelievable Amad Diallo was probably let's be real our star player today 100% Amad Diallo was uh the amount of chances he was creating with how good he was on the ball um it's some it's it's some un, it's unfortunate we weren't able to win so we had so many players that were just on their game today and it, it's just so unfortunate the way it ended after how well we played um Rashford honestly I have no words for him. So disappointing. He might have big chances that, you know, he had on a plate today that Diallo gave him, that Ganacho gave him. And Rashford was unable to do his thing. It was just so frustrating to watch, if we're being real. So bloody ridiculously frustrating to watch. But the chances that were created by the players around him were were very good we had some very good great patterns of play today coming from players like Casemiro and, and Bruno Fernandes and it's great to see Casemiro you know playing well today that's what we need Casemiro looks like he's staying on for the rest of his contract so you know we need a big season from Casemiro and this game today proved that you never know we really could be seeing a good Casemiro again this year and that he isn't and that he isn't fully finished and he is ready to go still so that's what we need from Casemiro we need a big season from him and today was just a big start from that in my opinion uh Kobe Maynard getting even better and better in that midfield as we know 100% I thought Maguire was decent at the back today I thought when we bring a uh, Palestri on I thought he, he was pretty disappointed but again we were playing him out of position but it's just a shame that he's just not great in the air that, and that's basically what cost us um, uh, the goal today that we can see that that, Piast that uh, Palestri is just not very good in the air um, which is a shame but again he's not he's not um, he's not a fullback and that's why we stuck him today because we, you know we were out of players but at the end of the day we're bringing in new signings now to sort things out which is very very important so I'll make videos on that tomorrow but yeah, at the end of the day, it's always disappointing to lose a final, no matter what trophy it's for, especially on penalties as well. Gutting way to lose, especially with how well we played and knowing the fact that, let's be real, we should have beat those oil merchants today without a shadow of a doubt. Um, I thought we would have seen a bit more. I thought we would have seen some of Xerxes today, but we didn't, uh, which surprised me to be fair, because I thought he could have came on and possibly made an impact. I mean, you know, I think I've seen loads of people questioning Eric Ten Hag's uh, decisions to take uh, Amad Diallo off and Kobe Maino off. But at the end of the day, I think he is probably resting for the real main uh, Premier League season campaign coming up on Friday, of course. So that's what I think Ten Hag's reasoning was behind them. But at the end of the day, um, that's that's what that's what our big main focus is on now. But it, it, it's gutting to lose any game. It's gutting to lose any game. It's gutting to lose any cup final. But there are so many positives to take out of that game. You have to be proud of how the players play today, in my opinion. 100%. And, you know, this is in one of the one times where we lose a game where I'm actually saying I'm pretty proud of what the players did today because they show, we show some great patterns of play. It's great.
weeks we're not consistent enough on goal not clinical enough on goal so that's the thing and that was what cost us today but the the creativity from the wingers was very good to be fair very positive signs overall um we must uh, sell Jaden Sancho he's absolutely useless as well don't know why we renewed uh, Johnny Evans contract as well uh you know I'm, I'm not just going at them because they miss penalties just generally like why they're both still here that's the thing but yeah anyway I'm going to end this video here thanks for watching speak to you on the next one come on man United